Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana still stuck in the same situation. It's holding really, really well, yeah, despite Bitcoin being slightly in the red today. So the support area that we defined seems to be holding at the moment. Um, the idea is that we are now obviously in this fourth wave that we talked about. I think that is a reasonable assumption. Um, we had five waves up in wave three, but still to consider that a larger five wave move to the upside has completed of the September lows. We need to see one more high. And this starts to be a decent size for a wave four. I would prefer it to be a little longer. Yeah. But if it now goes up, I probably have to assume it's wave four finished. But I would like it to be a little longer, maybe another couple of days or so in this wave four support area. We'll see. And then um, to take that, uh, to, to get that fifth wave done. Important is that $21.65 is holding as relevant support because below $21.65, the 50% retracement level breaks and then we cannot really confirm that anymore or understand that anymore as a wave four. It could still be a wave four, but then probably not in an impulse. Experience has shown us that if, if a wave four retraces more than 50%, it is likely going to fail, right? Um, oh yeah, in the, in the traditional Elliott wave books, you will find that a wave four can go deeper than the 50% retracement, but um, obviously experience uh, makes a difference here and um, the, the, the adequate use of Fibonacci levels is what distinguishes us from uh, from someone who just puts the you know the waves where it looks like it's good okay so um, that's what makes the difference um, yeah and at the moment obviously if we go into the microstructure so anybody who's not familiar with, with what's going on we're currently tracking for a potential five wave move up so if we have the five up if we get five waves up, so one more high above basically yesterday's high, then we can look forward to a three wave pullback, which would be then a potential entry point for a larger trade of a third wave to the upside. Could also form at the same time an inverse head and shoulders pattern here. Okay, so it's quite interesting potentially. Um, but basically what we had in small here, and if it can then break above resistance, you know, it can take us into the 40 to $50 region. But first of all, we need to see the five waves to be able to get um, a support area defined for the pullback. And if we don't even see the five waves up, it can it can break down early, of course. But the point is, after five waves up, yeah, we have some clarity and have some clarity that a larger uptrend is likely beginning, but um, with three waves up, not yet. Okay, so that's, that's why we just track it at the moment. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, again, this if we go into the microstructure, this wave four might still be unfolding and it could be unfolding as a triangle, for example. It could be unfolding as a larger flat structure still. So that's all possible. Um, to give you some ideas, it's possible that this was just the A, this is the B, and this here is the C. So this could be a flat structure, a regular flat. Could be an expanded flat if the B wave goes a little higher. So that's just this kind of micro counting that is just sort of showing you a bit of a roadmap there. Um, but it's not very reliable in terms of predictive qualities. So then, you know, we've got a triangle, the wave four could be a triangle, for example, A wave, B wave, C wave, D wave, E wave. I would like that, um, a bullish pennant. And then it, it would spend a bit more time in this support range, which is healthy, which is quite good for potential trend continuation. So I leave that on the chart, just an idea that can easily break, um, but sort of the triangle shape, it's, too, it's way too early to really confirm a triangle. We only have two ways anyway, but that would be my preferred scenario. Um, which doesn't mean it's necessarily what the market will do. And it's only micro counting, but essentially I think there are quite good chances for the price to give us a fifth wave to the upside from here. And then we have structural structural resistance, which is at the same time, the neckline of the inverse head and shoulders pattern. That's basically here at $25.50, right? So the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder, and then a break above it. Yeah, I mean, it can, can take us, I think we measured that yesterday, takes us into the $40 region. It's not only here the height of the head, but it also the Fibonacci extensions for a potential third wave rally take us up there. Okay, so the very first, <clears throat> the very first target would obviously be here round about, um, I think 33, 34, we looked at that yesterday. But then if we look at Fibonacci extensions, first of all, well, so Again, it's a bit speculative, depends on where we are actually landing eventually, or in the pullback. But we talk about sort of $34, $35, so that's in line with the head and shoulders target. But um, it can always stretch a bit higher, of course. But then looking at the bigger picture, if this is really the 
C wave of the third wave, yeah, this is where the white wave count is moving up, then it takes us sort of into the $40 region, maybe even higher. Yeah, that's my update about um, Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.